Hello everyone. So now let's look at the uh, dryness fraction equations. Okay, this these equations are namely in uh, some something like look something like that. Uh, this they are only used when your state right where your steam is at is under the under the so-called hill. Okay, which is when it is in a wet steam. Okay, you will have a certain dryness fraction of of your steam. So, for example, if you your steam happens to be on the left hand side, left hand side of the of the hill, you'll be at the along the F line, okay, the saturated liquid line, or if your state is over here at the right side, you're at the saturated dry steam line, okay, you're at the G line. So, when you are at the F line, you're actually uh, just started to boil, you have not converted any liquid into gas yet so the dryness fraction right the level of dryness is still considered zero it's still zero but things are going to change the liquid is going to slowly convert to gas and that's where your state is going to slowly move to the right it gets drier and drier because more liquid is converted to gas so your dryness fraction is going to increase okay all the way until the end here where everything has converted to gas your dryness fraction is now equals to one Okay, so dryness fraction ranges between zero and one within the within the wet steam region. Okay, and if you happen to be at somewhere in the middle, somewhere over here, take for example, okay, you're going to have a certain dryness fraction. So let's say for this particular case, it should be about since it's closer to G, right? It should be more than half. So it's let's say it's about zero point seven. So my x will be zero point seven. So based on the dryness fraction you will be able to calculate out the specific volume, specific internal energy and specific enthalpy at this state Okay, using these three sets of equations. Okay, So now let's look at this particular equation over here. V is Vf. In case uh, you haven't noticed, this V is Vf. Okay, And this V here is Vg. So with with the x, right, I'm able to do a kind of an interpolation in between these two values. Okay, and, and this will be how it, the equation looks like. Vf plus x vg minus vf. Okay, the main issue here now is that uh, if you look at the steam tables, vg is usually uh, quite big compared to the vf value, simply because vf is liquid, right? And liquid, you know that the water is relatively incompressible. So the density is going to remain around 1000. So when the density is about 1000, right, the specific volume will be 1 over density, okay, which will be 0 0.001. So Vf is usually in this uh, kind of magnitude, whereas Vg will be much bigger. So in this case, right, you can actually assume that the Vfs are small and negligible. And the equation right can then be simplified into x v g. Okay, so this is the dryness fraction equation when you want to find specific volume. For U F, it ca it carries the same spirit. Okay, of the kind of interpolation within within these two val these two sets of internal energies. Okay, so so you're gonna use the same form, and this will be the the equation. Okay, so you just go to the steam tables, you find UF and you find UG, you chuck them in and you will be able to find the uh, specific internal energy at this point of your interest. Okay, now for H enthalpy, okay, same format, but this time you know that in your steam tables there is a column called HFG, right? So in fact, HFG is HG minus HF. So your equation can be simplified to b h equals to h f plus x h f g okay so this will be the equation that you can use uh, with your steam tables